Tomato spotted wilt is a virus that is vectored by thrips. The two main species involved are tobacco thrips and western flyer thrips. What we have found through a number of years of research is that there's two ways or two types of infection that you can see. Primary infection is the initiation of the disease into the field and secondary infection. Primary infection, we found that the insecticides were basically not very effective. Secondary infection, using insecticides to control the thrips, the vector of this disease was erratic at best. Uh, by and large in West Texas we do not have uh, tobacco thrips as a vector of a specific disease that we see which is a virus called tomato spotted wilt virus. Western flyer thrips are a very poor vector of it apparently and are the, the, the greater amount of uh, thrips, if you will, as far as populations here in West Texas. The foliar symptoms of spotted wilt can be described as ring spotting, lightning bolts, uh, water soaked looking lesions, such as this right here. Another uh, symptom that can be encountered will be leaf, uh, the leaves flipping over, and again the lightning bolt uh, symptomology. The effects of tomato spotted wilt virus would be drastic yield reductions. Through the good works of the folks with the A&M system and other agencies that were funded by the Texas Peanut Producers Board, it has been found that not only a planting window can exist in certain parts of Texas, and in lieu of the insecticides not being effective, one of the more effective means is using varietal selection. In other words, there are varieties that are out there that are tolerant to this disease. When scouting a field and looking for spotted wilt, there's several things to take in consideration. First off would be the plant population. Knowing how many plants you have per row foot, you can, by doing so, will be able to get a percent of what you have in the way of infection. For example, if you have three plants per row foot, and in a hundred row feet, which is a scoutable area, and find three plants, say in that hundred row feet, that would equal one percent. 